Hello and welcome back. I will show you one more example of bootstrap estimation and that example is bootstrap estimation of the standard error of an estimator. And standard error of theta hat is just the standard deviation of theta hat with random data. So it's the square root of the variance of theta hat of x1 up to xn. And from that we see the bootstrap estimate of this is rather straightforward. That is denoted by S E hat star, hat for estimator star for bootstrap method. And we know what to do. There is not much to do here. We just need to replace the x with x star and the variance needs to be the variance with respect to the x star, taking the x as given. So variance x star theta hat of x star 1 up to x star n. So that is rather straightforward. And as before, that variance may be difficult to work out. So what we do is instead we use Monte Carlo estimation to estimate this variance. So that is approximately equal square root of 1 over n, sum j from 1 to n. And now we need a bit of notation. So we do theta hat x1 star j up to xn star j. That is the bootstrap samples as before, minus the average of these theta hat values. Let me denote that by theta hat star bar and this distance squared. So that is how we would estimate the variance. We could arguably add 1 over n minus 1 instead of 1 over n here, but given n is a large number under our control, say a million, that will not make a difference. So let me just finish writing this. So in this formula, x i star j are sampled from the empirical distribution of our data. So that here is a little x which stands for our data. And these are independent and identically distributed where i ranges from 1 to n, the indices of the arguments of theta hat. And j ranges from 1 to capital N. This corresponds to the Monte Carlo estimate and capital N we get to choose. So there is little interesting one can say about this theoretically. So instead, let's just try that out in R. What I will do is I will copy some of the code we used for the bias into a new file here. So that was our estimator for the variance, the biased estimator, which has a 1 over n in front. And this code here we used to try out the estimator using some Monte Carlo approach. So we just run this estimator 100,000 times using simulated data. And then we got this histogram. We have this, we have already seen that. Now this we cannot normally do for bootstrap estimations. There we have only one lot of data. But here, since we are doing simulated data to try that out, we know how our data is generated and we can generate more data. So the quantity we want to estimate is the standard deviation of theta hat. So I can get this here as SDH because in the vector H I stored lots of instances of this theta hat. So the true answer is approximately equal to 0 0.140. Okay, so that is what we could do if we were using Monte Carlo, which we could do if we know the distribution of our data. Now let's put that away and instead let's generate one lot of data like this. And now we are just working with this one x we generated here and see what we can do using bootstrap estimation from this x and without using the knowledge that in this case it was normal distributed. So how do we do that? So first we need again our code to generate bootstrap samples and I just I copy that from our R experiment for the bias. So that function here just to recall this that takes the fixed factor x we have given ourselves for our data and then n times it picks elements from this randomly with replacement. And since we didn't fix the probabilities, it will pick them from a uniform distribution. That's what we need for bootstrap samples. So that's the function we will use. Then what we need to do is very similar to what we did here. But instead of generating the sample using R norm, where we knew the distribution, we need to now choose R bootstrap, again, n sample. 
and then we just need to take the sample standard deviation of the resulting samples. So let's try that. So we have our data, we have defined our bootstrap, we define our vector, we take 100 bootstrap samples, plug the 100 bootstrap samples into our estimator theta hat, store the result, and then we need to take the sample standard deviation of this, which is 0 0.08. This didn't go so well, this result is much too small. Okay, so we made a mistake here, and you maybe have already spotted the mistake. So what has gone wrong is I used x twice. I used x once for our data and then I overwrote it here when I used it also to store the bootstrap sample. So that was no good. So instead what we do is we generate our data again. So that's now new data. We lost the old one. And then we just rename the bootstrap sample to x star. And this is it. Except this exclamation mark here tells me I mistyped x star. So let's try that again. We are running this. And then standard deviation of h is 0 0.18. This time that looks rather reasonable. That is not perfect, but given that whole method is a bit of a miracle, I think we could say this is okay. So again, we started just with enough data to do one point estimate. So if we want to have a point estimate for the variance, then we do just theta hat x. That was it. And from the same data, without any extra information, without using knowledge about the distribution, we were able to estimate both the bias of this estimator and now also the standard deviation of this estimator. So one could use this for an estimator for the mean squared error or things like this. Let me just keep a record of this. Estimated standard error is 0 0.18, which is close to the true standard error we found above. Good. And that is really all I wanted to show you here. Just for decorative reasons, I will redo the histogram that it looks more pretty. So that is the histogram of H which we got from our bootstrap samples. Good. So thank you all. And that is it.